Anchor Christine Varconi joining us now from the NBC4 i Streaming Center. She's taking a look at the stories making headlines online this midday. Hi, Christine. Hey, good morning, Brad. Our top story this morning takes a look at the declining enrollment at the Buckeye State's flagship university. Ohio State's total enrollment is the lowest it's been since 2016, according to the university's enrollment report for the past decade. This fall semester's enrollment is just under 65,800 students across all levels and campuses. That number is 2,000 students less from last year. A university spokesperson tells us that the increase in overall enrollment is partially intentional after the university decided to lower the number of first year students it accepted this year. You can get a closer look at the numbers on NBC4i.com. Also trending COVID numbers, specifically the noticeable drop in the number of people who are dying from the virus recently. The pa this past week, the Ohio Department of Health reported just eight deaths for the week beginning November 4th, a noteworthy drop from the 63 deaths a week prior. Higher. Since the start of the pandemic, more than 40,000 Ohioans have died from COVID-19, according to ODH data. You can get a closer look at these numbers also on NBC4i.com. And 13 children in Franklin County will now have permanent homes after six families will officially adopt them this foster care day. On National Adoption Day, it's rooted here in Central Ohio. It started 22 years ago by the Dave Thomas Foundation for Adoption. Adoption Day takes place all over the country and highlights the need for permanent loving homes for children in foster care throughout the United States. Currently, more than 3,000 children in Ohio's foster care system need homes, and more than 115,000 nationally are waiting for their forever adoptive families, according to the Dave Thomas Foundation. It's an amazing day for us um, in the adoptions department at FCCS. It's like Christmas. We love it. It's the best day of the year for us to see these families become permanent, par permanent partnerships and connections for these children. Over the last 22 years, more than 75,000 adoptions from foster care have been celebrated on National Adoption Day. If you're interested in fostering a child or foster adoption, please contact the FCCS Adoption Division. We have their information on NBC4i.com. And finally, it's the most wonderful time of the year, and it's official, official this weekend when Wild Lights return to the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium with their millions of LED lights. Celebrating 34 years in Central Ohio, Wild Lights opens Friday and runs through January 1st. Zoo members can be the first to experience this holiday tradition tomorrow for member night, which includes foods and beverages, cookies, and hot chocolate. Wild Lights is included with the regular price of zoo admission, and large crowds are anticipated. Anticipated, so the zoo is advising visitors to arrive early, Brad. Yeah, you got to get there early. This is a good one. Yeah, appreciate it's, it's it. It's always a lot of fun. All right, latest news, weather, sports, 24-70. Make sure you visit NBC4i.com. Stay with us connected on the go. Free NBC4 News app is there as well. Download it today. Apple or Google Play stores.